4.2.3 soluble salts. We'll also mention 4.2.6 here, which is strong and weak acids. Soluble salts can be made by reacting acids with sol solid insoluble substances. So for instance, you can react a metal with an acid. You can react a metal hydroxide with an acid. You can react a metal oxide with an acid. Or you can react a metal carbonate with an acid. All of those will produce soluble salts depending on the, the metal within the solution that you've chosen and depending on the acid that you've chosen too. Now you've got to know this is a required practical. You've got to know the method for this. You've got to be able to explain how it would work. So first of all, you would add the solid to the acid and you'd heat it up. This uses knowledge about rate of reaction because you're heating it up, which means more particles are going to react because you're giving them more than the activation energy. So you heat it up. Then what you do is you would add excess of the solid so that you know that all of the acid has been used up. Then what you do with the excess um, solid is you'd filter it to remove that so you just have a solution. Well, in the solution, you've got, your, you've got your soluble salt, but you don't want your soluble salt in solution, so what you do is you heat it. You heat it gently over a water bath, and you allow the process of uh, crystallization to take place. The water will evaporate, which will allow you leave, will leave your soluble salt crystals. Now, you've done this. You've made probably some sodium chloride uh, using sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Or you might have made copper sulfate using copper oxide and sulfuric acid, copper sulfate. So what's the difference between a strong and a weak acid? Strong acids fully ionize. That means all of the H plus ions and the non-metal part separate in water. They fully ionize. They completely turn into ions. And the three strong acids you need to know about are nitric, hydrochloric, and sulfuric acid. Make sure you know that they are strong acids. Now, weak acids only partially ionize. That means not all of the H plus ions separate from the non-metal part, from the salt part of the acid. Examples include ethanoic acid, citric acid, carbonic acid, Make sure you know about those acids, that they are weak acids because they only partially ionize. So we use the words strong and weak, but we also use the words concentrated and dilute. You need to know what concentration means. It's not the same as strong. It's not the same. So the concentration of acid particles, that's H plus ions, is measured using the pH scale. A pH change of 1 is caused by the concentration of hydrogen ions in solution changing by a factor of 10. So it's a power scale. So pH 1 will have 10 times as many hydrogen ions as a pH of 2. pH 2 will have 10 times more hydrogen ions than a pH of 3. So that means a pH of 1 has 100 times more H plus ions than a pH of 3. That's why as the pH goes down, the concentration of the acid increases. I really hope this video has helped you to understand the difference between strong, weak, concentrated and dilute acids. If it has, don't be selfish, don't keep it to yourself, but share it with someone else. If you need any more help, leave a comment below.